Hello GPNZ crew, Sam here from giantpumpkins.co.nz. How's it going? Hey, in this video I'm talking about doing pH soil testing at home with a simple kit. You can buy this kit from any garden centre or home improvement store. I got mine from Bunnings many years ago. The kit that I've got has actually a bit more in it than the kit that you can now get. So don't let that throw you if it doesn't look the same. I've done a pH soil test video many years ago. I didn't sound that excited in that video. I don't know what was going on there. But because I'm in a new place and the Tiny Patch 2.0, I decided to check out what the soil is up to. I want to make sure that I can try and get it as good as possible so the plant can pick up all the nutrients. The range of pH goes from 1 to 14. The lower number is more acidic and the higher number is more alkaline. In the middle, obviously around 7, that's neutral. Water, pure water, should be 7. Now that's what's known as pH neutral. Would a soil test be better uh, in the grand scheme of things? Yes but only if you've got a really big area and you've got the money and time and commitment to um, apply a lot of product possibly to get what you need out of that soil. Uh, with that soil test you will get the pH level, you'll also get all the nutrients that are in there and the percentages. Now my area is so tiny here in the Tiny Patch 2.0, it's not really worth doing that, but I do feel that pH soil testing yourself at home, it's quick and easy to do, you can do it for small areas like this, and you can do it for a whole wide range of plants, so not only just giant pumpkins. So it's a good tool to know about. What does it mean if you have the correct pH soil level? How does that help the plants? Having a pH level that's too high or too low shuts down the plant's ability to absorb nutrients. Different nutrients can be more easily taken up by the plant at different pH levels and different plants have different requirements about what they like to grow in. So having it at the best level means the plant can get most of the nutrients it needs way more easily than a plant that's struggling in the wrong pH level. What is the best pH soil level for a giant pumpkin? Well most people seem to think it's between 6.5 and 7. If you're within those ranges that's really good. pH levels can change during the growing season. Um, just from weathering, uh, stuff breaking down in the soil, water being applied, things like that. So pH levels do change throughout the season. It's something to keep in mind and you may need to do a retest at some point, especially between seasons uh, if you're growing in the same area. Organic material in general, once it's fully broken down, that will rest at around a 7. To do your own pH soil test at home with the kit, it's pretty easy. First you need to uh, dig up the area, remove any contaminants um, from that so you don't want dirt, rocks, twigs or anything like that. Then what you want to do is you want to collect a small sample of that dirt, keep it in a container and you want to dry it naturally. Uh, probably take a couple of weeks. I had mine sitting in a sunny window here and it got nice and dry. You want to follow the instructions on the pH soil test kit, it'll tell exactly how you need to do this. Uh, for my test kit, I add a little bit of the soil with a bit of the powder and then the solution. You shake it up, you let it settle, and then basically you're matching the colour the liquid turns to the pH soil list in the guide, and that'll give you an indication of what that pH soil level is. If your pH level's too low, you really want to be adding in some sort of... That was a bird hitting the window. If the pH is too low, you really want to be adding a lime product that will bring it up. And if it's way too high, you probably want to be adding something like aluminum sulfate or sulfur. I get into this a bit more at uh, giantpumpkins.co.nz forward slash soil. So if you want to head there, you can see a bit more in depth about that. So it's nice and simple to do this pH soil test at home. I highly recommend you should. Uh, it's a good thing to know and just doing the pH soil and amending it a little bit unlocks so many more nutrients later on in the growing season that this really should be a no-brainer for most people out there. I do have a couple of things to note here. There are other ways of testing pH levels, you may see this. There's the old litmus type test, you may remember that from school science. There are little electronic probe looking things and those are great but they're really for testing water um, so great for hydroponic growers great for people balancing pools things like that probably not the best for gardens so you will want to get a actual ph soil test kit now there is uh, some probes that you can get 
and I've got one coming from China. It hasn't arrived yet. I'll talk about it in a future video, but that's mainly for jamming into uh, pot plants, and that'll tell you how much water's in there as well as what the pH level is. I'm going to test that out, and I'm going to compare it to the soil and figure out just how well it works. Something else to keep on mind, I think, when growing is the water that you're applying that's got its own pH level. Now, applying that to the pumpkin patch, how much is that going to affect what's happening in the soil? Will it change it, raise it, lower it? Who knows? But it's just one of those things. I've never really worried about that in the past, but in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about that. I'm using water straight from the tap, straight from pound supply, uh, for the size of the patch that I'm growing in, for the size of the pumpkin that I'm probably going to get, it probably doesn't matter. But if I was taking it to the next level and I wanted to try and get the New Zealand record or even further, this would be something that I would have to be uh, testing, thinking about, um, and you know, preparing for. Hopefully you found this video interesting. I hope it helped you in some way. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe below. That uh, is great. You can follow along with what I'm up to this season. I'd love to uh, hear from you. And have you done a pH soil test yourself? And how did you find it? Anyways, until next time, I'm Sam. Uh, check me out, giantpumpkins.co.nz. See ya.